Hello and welcome back, this is Daniel and we'll continue our character modeling. And today we have to model feet. So, and I have no reference in particular for that. I thought about making one, but I ended up thinking that it wasn't really worth it. So, we'll have to do it freehand. So, I've separated it again into a new object just so that I can't mess with what we've created earlier. And here is kind of what my plan is. So I've kind of thought that through in my head, but I'm not sure whether it will really work out or not. So let's just check. <coughs> if the normals are not correct, Control N will fix all your problems. And now the topology here is rather easy. You just want to select these back ones, go down maybe twice or so, and then you take these three and just go to the front and the ones that go down from here will continue uh, this loop. So pretty simple and and down here it's simply well closing that again. So Let's do that quickly. No, we're not shaping anything yet, just laying down the structures. So that's that's it. <laughs> um, what we might want to do is well let's let's make it look like a feed. That's what we might want to do. <laughs> So, um, we somehow have to make, well, first of all, you have to know what the foot looks like, but I guess you can just look at your own foot or look up some references. I've really never done that before, actually, modeling feet. Oh, oh, actually, I've done it once. I just remembered. But normally I always skip it because when do you ever see feet on a character? Norm normally they just wore some boots or, I know, something. So what we'll do here is actually add another loop. And then over here I'll connect everything in this manner. So that gives us, you know, four faces in the front. And I'm going to select all of these and scale them along y by zero so that they're, you know, flat. And then a bit rotated, I'll place them over here. This is kind of our target for this first part of the foot. So that makes it easier for us to, you know, uh, find a shape that we that we don't know so much about. <coughs> That's why I'm doing it. Um, yeah. Other than that, you know, just try to get it right. Um, probably we're already quite close with this. I mean, what much more would you like to have? Feet. Uh, it looks good to me. Just maybe over here, I want to give this a little bit of a dent just to. I have no idea what I'm saying, really, honestly. How, how do you comment a modeling session on feed when you don't even know what they're really like? <laughs> that is so awkward. Anyway, so there you go, there you have kind of something that looks like feet. And you should just play around with it, just as we did with every other part on the body so far. Um, whenever you start to see something that doesn't look uh, right, move those vertices around and stop at the point where you think it suddenly looked better than before. Uh, that means that you got a little bit closer to, you know, how it should look like or 
what you're expecting it to look like or things like that. That way you learn pretty good because um, you you don't know how it looks but you try all the different uh, solutions to a problem and in the end find it normally and because of all the work you went through to get to that point I experienced that you learned pretty well. So let's just stay with this as it is right now. I mean, it's pretty basic, but that's okay. Now, more of an issue is going to be the toes. Uh, we need one more loop cut around here, unfortunately. Let's do it with a bevel cut. So I'm selecting this middle edge, and with a by beveling it, uh, you know, you get a little bit more out of it. Um, I just want to make these even again so that we don't have any sharper corners than usual. At the back we can use this though to get some more detail. Let's see if, if it does any good to us if we do it like this. Maybe it doesn't look so bad, just Just this curve looks kind of weird. So I guess this is better now. Kind of. All right, let's continue. We have now a couple of bases for our toes. We can work with those and yeah, just give it a try and extrude them and see what happens. <laughs> That's what I would say. So let's start with this one. I'm going to extrude it a couple of times and and see what looks to me the most like a toe. And you know, this might be good enough. <laughs> this is kind of fun. <laughs> so, by the way, at this point, you can, oh, sorry, you can try to think about how, how it looked like, and you will notice that there is this kind of, um, yeah, it, it, they feet have a, sh a certain shape, and you might want to look at it quickly and use that information then to model the feet. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> this is really fun. Yeah, but you see, that that is what's modeling about to me, kind of what makes it so fun you experience modeling new things and you find solutions for it and you learn from it. Uh, so even if something doesn't go all that well, it doesn't mean that you're not successful with your project or anything. <laughs> I'm just really curious how this is going to turn out. It might not be bad at all, just saying. It might even turn out pretty good. I'm just curious on that. So we have yet another one. I'm not going to add too many loop cuts here anymore. Now this one is really going to be bent quite a bit. Just because I think uh, that's how toes are. And then there is this last one. Just make it a little bit more even, give it some more structure so that the shape is a bit clear. So that is good. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised by that. That looks kind of really like a 
good feet. Like I could, I mean, so anything else we need to do here? Yeah, let's just review the shape of what we created earlier because um, I'm not sure if, if those play together so well anymore. Just a few fixes here and there. And all right, let's check. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I guess I'll play around a little bit with it. And again, I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just trying it out. So, just so you know. All right, I guess I guess we we made that challenge after all. We made it through. I mean, it's not perfect. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this. I'm still not sure whether this is a whether this does good to our project or not. I mean, if we would not have any feet, well, then the character would not have any feet, but if we have them, they're probably the only part that don't fit in well and I'm still not sure whether they're really bad or they're actually good and I'm just kind of distracted um, well, looking at the whole thing I guess they don't stand out that much so um, I will leave it as it is. That is my decision for now, and we will not need them later anyway. So, so I guess that is why we're going to stop working on this. And with that, then we have a character mold and. It is complete at this point. I mean, you know, we're missing clothes and everything, and we're going to cover those and lots of other things. But um, as for this first big uh, chapter in this tutorial, we're now done. We have modeled every single detail of her body, and well, except for the feet, I'm really happy with it. But you know already the story about the feet, so. So we should leave it. I shouldn't touch it anymore. Um, so I'll think about what the next chapter uh, and the, generally the next part, the next steps will be. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. Um, still glad that those of you who are still following this tutorial at this point are still here. By the way, we are at part 24, I think, and that's where my last big character modeling tutorial. Uh, stopped. So this is really going to be a lot longer in detail than the previous one. Hope you enjoyed it, have a good day and see you again in my next part.